lot of uh, developments in Africa this week, and VOA's Paul Cisco takes a look at some of the week's most interesting news stories. On Wednesday, Pope Benedict spoke out against the violent attacks in Nigeria after a weekend massacre killed scores of people around Joe's. He called on all those in the country with civil and religious authority to bring security and peaceful coexistence back to Nigeria. UN peacekeepers backing military operations against rebels in eastern Congo are working on plans for a partial withdrawal beginning in June. Working with Congolese soldiers, the mission has grown into the largest peacekeeping force in the world, deployed in 1999 to help establish control over the vast Central African nation. Amnesty International warns a troop withdrawal could be disastrous for the civilian population. A roundup of a different sort in Kenya, wildlife officials there are moving thousands of zebras and wildebeest to Amboseli National Park. Drought has adversely affected populations in the park. Officials say it is one of the largest animal relocations ever in Africa and will re-establish an appropriate predatory-prey balance without seriously affecting any species populations. Finally, to New York City for one of the richest modern African art auctions ever. The sale at Bonham's Gallery includes prize sketches and artwork from Nobel Prize winner Nelson Mandela and more from other modern African artists. Paul Sisko, VOA News.